Why is it important to define it as an act of domestic terrorism or not? There's two ways in which it's important, and I think one way which is unhelpful is it becomes a partisan issue, because we've seen with previous shootings, uh, for example, uh, the, the, the Muslim psychiatrist who went on a rampage at Fort Hood, uh, there was a big argument as to whether that was a workplace accident, and that played into the idea that you heard from some conservatives that this administration, President Obama, is somehow reluctant to call radical Islam the threat that it is. I think what's a much more help, helpful uh, discussion is how does how do you stop this kind of radicalization of people living in the country? And it's very much, if you talk to national security officials in America, but also in Europe, this is their worst nightmare. People with uh, American passports, European passports, who by all accounts had assimilated perfectly. He went to high school in Tennessee. He went to university. He got a degree. He had a good job. This wasn't some disaffected, recently arrived kind of lone wolf. This was someone who, to all intents and purposes, was living a completely American life and then became radicalized. And that is, as I say, if you talk to intelligence people, that's their worst nightmare.